Hi, Chris here for 10 Tech and welcome to the channel. Well, today we are going to look at part 3 of Power Toys with Image Resizer. So let's get started now. For those of you who doesn't know how to or where to get the Microsoft Power Toys suites, just look down below. I will post a link for the video I made last week about this and also how to install it if you don't know how. In the meantime, you know that if you want, you can as well, since you are there, like, comment and subscribe. So if you have not, make sure you watch our previous video about the subject. It will be easier for you to follow up on today's video, which is about none other than the Poyota settings and as last week we were doing the file explorer, this week we will do the image resizer. We have first, before resizing our images, we need to resize the window here for us to be able to see everything. Then we go to the tab here, image resizer. And if it's grayed out like so, not to worry, as you saw, you can toggle it on or toggle it off if you want to. So in here, you have already predefined sizes for you. So you can, if you want, change them to fill, stretch, or to fit. And then you can put it bigger, smaller, or even delete the predefined sizes that you have. You can even, if you want, add a size. If you want, you can do, for example, web. Let's say you have a banner to do. So I do the web, let's say it will uh, fill, and I do maybe 600 and here maybe 600 all right and we will try this one and see what it does and if it doesn't work we either adjust it or either delete it it's as simple as this for this part all right then you can if you want change the encoding all right, as you can see, you have PNG, BMP, JPEG, TIFF, Window Photo, Encoders, or the GIF mode if you want to. All right, you have the quality level that you can increase or decrease. You have the uh, PNG interlacing if you want to. All right, you have on, off, or default, and the TIFF compression. You have as well a few settings to choose from if you want to. If you want me to go a little bit more in details of those extensions here, just let me know in the comment down below and I will do so one for you. So. And here you have something interesting, which is the file format. If you see, once I hover around here, you will see this pop-ups and it tells you what you can put. Whatever is in brackets, for example, if I put a 2, it will be the size name, 3, the selected width, 4, the selected height, 5, the actual width, and six, the actual weight. Note that if you want more than one, you have to put like so. I will put percentage and four and close the bracket. You can use the original date modified if you want to. In here, we will come back to this later on and see how it works. I finish with the window first. Here you have the module overview. If I run this window, if I go down, you can see it gives you a GIF and explain to you how it works once you open the window, right? So we'll go through this. Then you have another GIF here, which shows you how it works, okay? With the encoding and everything, if you want. All right, it's pretty self-explanatory, but we will go through. So as I did say, look at the command down below for the link. So we close this for now and go down to business. So here we are. I opened those already. This is the picture we are going to change. So we are set with the number two, which is the size name, and the number four, which is the selected height, right? And we will do the resize for the web, okay? Which is 600 by 600 pixels, right? So I select this picture and I can do this picture as well with the control on the keyboard, right click, and I resize the picture, okay? I have the web, selected. I can make the picture uh, smaller but not larger. If I click on here, I can resize to uh, the original picture means that this picture here, the one I selected, will be resized. So I will do like so and I can ignore the, the orientation of the picture. I click on resize 
And as soon as I done, you can see, it did the work. If you notice, this one is being cropped, okay? Because the original picture, if you are not sure, you do a right click, you go to properties, and you go to details, All right? And there you have the dimension. And if you look at this one here, properties, details, 60 by 60. I open the other one. So now I have the two. I have this one here with 600 and 600, 600 by 600, and this one here with the dimension uh, as it was before. So I cancel. Now I will change this one and I will put the actual with not the selected one. So I put the number five. I will do a copy of this one. I do not resize, okay? So I should have three pictures of this now. Two pictures of this one plus this one will be three. Resize, and there it is. You can see that it was small. So don't be confused. Don't be confused by the size because we did select a small one. I didn't go for the web one. As I was wanted to show you, this one I can delete it, but by default we select the first one, as you saw. So to resume, we uh, managed to resize the picture. Now if we look at this one here, the size, it's quite small. And the students at the back of the class, those who are not sleeping anyway, I'm sure they will ask about, can we make it bigger? Because I'm sure some people will ask about it. Okay, I will try. I do a right click, resize the picture, and I say select large. And we resize, all right? Ta-da! There it is. So here we can see that it is slightly larger. If I make it bigger, this is the original. And you can see there is not much difference. But let me put it like so. You can see, you can see that it's still smaller in, ki in kilobyte. It's a smaller file, although it says large. So you cannot make it bigger. Now, what I will try, view, right? And we will take this one here, okay? So I can delete uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one, okay? Like this, you are not too confused, right? We keep the original, and we will do a right click, I resize the picture, and here you can see, you can have in centimeter, inches, percent, or pixel. So let's do it as a centimeter. You can see that the number doesn't change. Normally, it changes, but they do not. Okay. So, I will put it in inches and see what we come up with and see if it's a bigger one. The size. You can see that. It doesn't work because the image is too small. Let's try with centimeter. This time it works, but it will take a while. I will let it do and come back when this is done. There it is. It's done now, as you can see. You can see the size, it's megabytes, and here it's kilobytes. But the image is blur. You can see the difference, don't you? So you know you can resize to bigger a picture, but you will lose in quality, which is normal. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I know that I use this feature quite often. You can do your YouTube things, like if you want to, subscribe, you may as well. Or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so. I will try to improve for you guys. Stay safe and bye now!